Hello, it's Carolyn Show Walter again, and today I'm going to do a quick video about my Classical Conversations Memory Work Flip Books. So welcome to my collection, <laughs> as you can see. So cycle one is what we're going to be doing this fall in 2021. And um, this is actually the first flip book I ever made. So this is the one I printed originally three years ago. And um, as you can see, I printed it straight off the computer onto computer paper and I didn't even trim the edges. I just left it. So this is actually eight and a half inches wide. And um, each page was printed with two images on it. And then I folded it. So this is actually a fold here. And then if you go to the side, it's actually, you could like open it up. See, it's really hard to tell. So this is actually just printed single sided with nothing in the middle. And you grab it by the fold and then it's bound at the top. Okay. So then um, here's what the middle looks like. I sewed it on the sewing machine. So I took my folded pages and then the raw edge was at the top and I took the cover and the back cover and then this is week 24 and then this one is week one on the opposite and I put it into a page protector. So this is just a really cheap page protector you can see. It's a really cheap page protector. I put that in there and then I went to my sewing machine and I literally just used wide stitch and I did not let the machine do this. If you let the machine sew through this much paper, you'll break your needle. So you have to do it by hand. You actually have to like crank the hand wheel down through the paper layers and then you can let it go through this one by itself. So you crank it for one and sew for one and then crank for one and then sew for one and like literally hand crank your sewing all the way across and then to the other side. So you stitch once and then stitch twice and that listed the whole year. Well, originally this was designed so that you could print it on photo paper or have it printed as photos usually four by six and then they'd get like four by six albums at the dollar store and so I looked up how much the prints would cost I think it was like six dollars just for the photos and then a dollar or two for the photo book and so that brings your total cost for the flip book to like at least seven or eight dollars if you love printing out your photos and buying those pre-made albums then please keep doing that this is not to shame you that you don't have these skills. This is literally just to say, I can print this for like pennies. So I like to print these for pennies and that's why I have so many of them. Okay, and I also have printed them for um, other moms on campus. So this is something I made my first year. I, um, the CC Connected has a tutorial section and this is on the tutorial is the president's song, which is week 24 timeline is just learning the presidents of the United States. So I literally just took screenshots and printed it out and laminated it. And then of course I added this matching like, cause I printed it. So anyway, ignore that part. The point is to look at this binding. This is a happy planner punch. So uh, you just, you can make your, you can take your flipbook images and print them on cardstock and laminate them into flash cards and then bind them at the top and suddenly it's a flipbook. Okay? You just have to, if you're double printing, you just have to make sure that you print it um, with the correct top. So this one would be upside down from this one if you were printing them as flashcards like that, if you wanted to have the flashcards be flippable. This one was one of my first ones I made. So this one, the back of it is printed with the same top 
as a top line, so it's not technically a flip book, but you can flip through it, which we do when we sing our president song, and that's really easy. Now I got my upgrade, because this Christmas I got the ProClick binding system. So what I did was um, I printed out my cover and my inside cover, and then my back cover and my inside back cover and I just printed them on regular paper and I glued them together and then laminated them and that was just the cover and the inside pages are still images they're JPEG files but what I did was I um, see it's the same thing this is the fold and this is printed single-sided fold it and then you just fold it and then you trim the edges here and here and actually I trimmed a little bit off the top too so it would be this is approximately a uh, five by seven sorry five by seven and then I added another eighth of an inch to account for this binding but that turned out not to be necessary so yes I printed these five by seven and I'm two to a page, single-sided print, and then fold in half, and then bind at the top. So um, let me show you my computer really quick. This is what my file looks like. Okay, so I took the images from the unzipped folder, and this is what it looks like when I arranged it. I opened this in Open Office. Okay, I don't have Word. I use Open Office. Here's the word Open Office. And what you do is I, you set up your margins so that the image inside here will be seven inches wide. I don't remember what the margins are right now, but I set that up. And then I put the, this is gonna be the, the binding here, and this is gonna be the binding here. So I set it up. So this is the bottom half of chart G, and this is the top half of chart H. And then on the next page up, we've got the bottom of chart H and the top of chart J. And that's how I get a nice crisp edge right here. So that when I flip in my essentials chart book, you can see the letters of the charts right there at the bottom. And it flips very easily. Okay, now here is my next iteration. I made a timeline flip book. Okay, now I made a similar one on CC Connected, but this is this one here is not on CC Connected. This one here is my original one, with um, but the one on CC Connected is very similar. Let me take you over here and I'll show you how to print it from the image folder. Okay, so when you're making your book, you want to think about what's on the bottom and what's on the top. So if you want uh, bottom and top to be the same week, they're going to be on two different pages of paper. So you're going to want to grab the bottom would be the image and the top would be the next week. So week one would be the bottom and week two would be the top. So when you were folding it like this, if you're one piece of paper. So that's the only thing you need to make sure that you're grabbing the right images in order to print them. So let me go ahead and print this for you and show you what it looks like four by six. This is just the standard print pictures viewer on Windows. If I pick, I'm gonna pick fine, best quality. That way it might actually be readable. Um, let me think, is this the way I want it? No, this is opposite. Okay, so if this happens, I wanted the, I want to have the pictures up here and the text on this half because this is going to be the bottom of this image and this one is going to be the top of this image. So I am going to reverse the order and I'll show you how to do that. You can cancel. Now reselect your pictures in the opposite order. Select this one first and then select this one and hopefully it will reverse the order in the viewer. Oh, see? See? It did it. Okay, so we're gonna do... Which one? What's the difference? Is there a difference? Okay, there's no difference because these pictures are formatted 4x6. 
Okay, so let's print this out and see what happens. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you print it out. Um, we've got our um, image and our text. And what we're going to do is fold it halfway between the two images. No matter if the top and the bottom line up, that's where you want to fold it. It's halfway between. I don't know if I can do that with one hand. We'll try it. Okay, so it's about half an inch. So I'm going to do a quarter inch on each side. So I think that's going to be about there. And then line up the side. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's about even, right? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no. Well, you can fiddle around with it. Okay, so then you would trim the margins off, like so. And then you would leave a margin at the top for your binding. On this one, I left not very much. It's like the minimum. It's like a half an inch. Okay, so you would trim the top. And then you would have your... your you would print another one, obviously, and have the text up there, well, like this, like that. See how raw edge, folded edge, week one, week one, folded edge, then flip, then week two, folded edge, and so forth. So you could make your whole book like this, and then just, it's so easy, right? Okay, so that's how I make my flip books at home. So, I hope you enjoy your adventure with flip books in Classical Conversations. Goodbye!